All right, all right. Uh, what's going on? You listen to Cam and Jumbe podcast and Jumbe means message. Who's Juneteenth? That is the topic of discussion. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers, the men, men folk, father figures, uncles, daddies, grandfathers, papas, all you guys. Shout out to you guys. Much love to you guys uh, who work hard and uh, love your children, love your family. Um, check this out. It is um, Juneteenth weekend, Father's Day weekend, and we, you know, we, let's get in on this discussion. The question is, who's Juneteenth? Who, who, who does it belong to? Who is it for? Um, you know, for many years, they used to call us in Texas slow. Um, a lot of people, in te- uh, they called us slow in Texas for one major reason, and it is because you know the popular reason is that slave africans in texas were the last ones to find out about the emancipation proclamation um that's that was the narrative of uh, born and raised in dallas I, I heard it a lot and and that's what they said so uh but keep in mind in order for an executive order to be uh done to be fulfilled the state of texas had to be under the union Okay, so uh, so Texas was still at this time in 1865 was still under the Confederate banner, and since the proclamation uh, was on January 1st, 1863, it took the Union about two years to even get to that point. And once the Union Army took over Galveston, then they was able to do that, and it just so happened to be June 19th, 1865, which we uh, in Texas our ancestors said Juneteenth. So now it's 2024 and everyone's in on it, including Walmart. So, <laughs> so the Walmarts and uh, everybody's taking off and, and all those, the Texas phenomenon, uh, it's spread across the nation. Uh, it's now a thing. Now June 19th, all Africans in America and everybody else is in on the celebration. But the question is, who is this for? Um who does it belong to uh, my answer real simple is for the culture it's for the culture um but who is this culture who who can lay claim to it that is the crux i know that we've been dealing with kush and we're dealing with uh sudan and everything but uh, i had to deal with this i had to address it um you know take a little break from what we're doing uh, on the podcast to address, you know, current issues and current things in our, in the United States. And so uh, here's a few reasons why I think it's for the culture. I mean, the culture, the African diaspora, not just Africans in Africa, but Africans in America. Um, it's for us, for us as a people. Okay. The people of Ebony Hugh. Uh, what I mean by that is a celebration of the culture, a reunion of recognition, a remember that some Africans could not venture further south into Texas, into Louisiana, into uh, Alabama. You know, they, they couldn't. And so they couldn't reconnect with their loved ones at that time. So it was not until they got the word that everybody was free, they was able to do that. But even then, they still couldn't do it. They still was afraid. Now we all can celebrate our families and our culture together. Okay, so it's for the culture, and 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 we should do it within our sacred spaces. We should do it among ourselves and be ourselves. Yeah. So this is not just this is not a sexist thing or a regional thing. No matter when or where slavery happened, it happened to us. It happened to you. This was just, it was slavery just wasn't relegated to, say, um, the Carolinas or anywhere. At one time, depending on where you landed, when you got off that boat, that's where you was at. So uh, if you was of African descent, you, your boat could have landed in Haiti. It could have landed in New York, Jamaica, North South Carolina, Georgia, Brazil, Florida, Dominican Republic, Virginia. Uh, so it doesn't matter. Uh, slavery impacted Africans everywhere. 
okay and so now we're going to celebrate the freedoms that we have as one culture that's what we should do that's what we should do and so i'm going to be honest um our brothers and sisters in the diaspora have their celebrations from for what i know our families are welcome there they're welcoming us to their celebration to their events they encourage us to enjoy the festivals the mardi gras the carnivals so whenever we come uh we enjoy so let's not let's let's not be those individuals that that try to gatekeep our, the culture experience among us that's not right that's not fair so um some may even disagree you know you can tell me in the chat if you disagree or not but it is what it is but as a texas boy i'm telling you juneteenth is for the culture we could be that group of people in texas saying all of you guys should not be celebrating juneteenth because y'all you know y'all made fun of us y'all said we was last to find out and all these things but the last 25 years everybody got in on it but it started in texas no we didn't do that but the reality is we as a people need to stop doing uh stop majoring in the minors and we have other issues to deal with than to assert our authority over who uh over something that is established in one place a hundred years ago right we can't we can't just focus on saying which group of black folk can come to the uh to the cookout meanwhile the other people are coming and they're and they're doing it bigger than we are that's not fair we can't tell other black people uh you know how and where to go and then we turn around and allow everybody else in, in those same spaces okay it's also for our ancestors for our loved ones they they were the ones that endured the hardships and went through a lot of the things and went through a lot of issues they had land during this time and they got their lands taken from them we're talking about post-slavery now we're talking about between the eight the time of 1865 and say 1940 a lot of black people in america had a lot of property and they got their lands taken and so but juneteenth was a time in texas where people on their land celebrated their culture got together they felt they felt it was okay to be themselves and now this this event has spread everywhere us uh, and now this event is in los angeles san diego shout out to tony hawkins uh denver baltimore wasahatchee okay uh the dmv chicago detroit if i missed a location you guys could tell me but it's for it has spread because a few people had an idea and now everybody's in on it which is cool which is cool wherever we find ourselves we should be able to celebrate ourselves okay wherever africans in america are we are going to do it we want to do it well okay we should dance we should sing we should not outlaw black joy uh amongst ourselves we can't stop policing our joy like that we already got enough people that will get mad just because you're walking or because you're singing you know it's enough of that so how can we celebrate this the way that you know how to celebrate it with food with dancing education music a parade drums whatever you celebrate it the way you feel that you can celebrate and that your money would allow you to do you know um a poetry session that'd be cool but most importantly i would say barbecue you got to do that right you gotta you gotta get in on that but the but juneteenth is for everybody there are some individuals out there that are telling other people that they cannot other black people that they cannot celebrate and these folk are not from, from they're not they're not from here they're not from this state and so how can you tell other people uh how and when to celebrate something in a state that you're not even in right this is for everybody this is the concept of ubuntu now 
do do we do we neglect our black american heritage for everything else no we shouldn't okay i know some of us did include myself we did um ancestry um research and so on and did those things and found out that we were house or, or the moon and all those things but still you know my culture my heritage as a black american is east texas and arkansas see what i'm saying so we can't reject that we can't reject those things especially where we are from and we should be proud of that you know we like grits or oatmeal we like chicken we like jazz music we like rap we like all those things and it came from here that's part of the culture also you know we we we, we love gospel music we sing it so we have to be able and, and to be fine with connecting all of those things because we are all those things but we shouldn't neglect each other or neglect one aspect over another just to to look good or feel good so who's juneteenth for it's for the culture it's for everybody uh, especially you know everybody of african descent uh no uh, texas is not telling everybody to stop celebrating no you celebrate you enjoy if you're in alaska and celebrating juneteenth do it because that is our time of celebration and the fact of the matter is 1775 july 4th we was the, the majority of us were in chains okay so um this was the time where we can celebrate our freedom and our rights and all those things um once again happy juneteenth enjoy it and father's day to all the men folk you know um shout out to my own father to to my boys to uh, my uncles and all the great men that um, you know give them you know give them their flowers you know i wouldn't necessarily give them flowers but you know give them some so <laughs> so <laughs> you know but don't just give them some socks all right you know so i i would say show them appreciation show them love and and uh let them know that their, their hard work is is appreciated okay um but yeah that's about it because i know the game is about to start and i'm about to enjoy this i hope uh dallas comes out with a win but you know we shall see yeah oh what's going on brother mo socks is always good yeah 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 but you know yeah I, I do enjoy some socks but you know this is this is father's day you know your socks and something <laughs> so yeah um but yeah don't don't forget we will we, we will resume back to dealing with nubia but i had to address that i had to address um juneteenth and father's day and i appreciate you guys for listening and i will uh i will talk to you later all right oh wait a minute hold on well, not yet not yet that's also some folk to work while we celebrate juneteenth and they didn't care but thankful for the holiday yeah you're gonna get i was about to shut it down but yeah you 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 will get people like that um you will get some people that you know we can we've been educating folk for many years about this and they still like they don't know it is what it is um even some of our people just thankful to be off yeah yeah it is sad it is sad but but we just got to keep it moving we just got to um you know know why we're doing it you know know why we are celebrating our uh independence day and even though 
just like in anything, it is a ongoing progress. It's an ongoing process where, no, you're not just free and that is all. There's other things that you have to do to make uh, good people better. So uh, that's that's part of it. And so there's things that we have to look at and to to move forward with. And so, yeah. But if there is no other questions, if there are no other questions, we're about to uh, head out. But yeah, uh, shout out to the fam. Uh, shout out to see brother Mo, brother Rashad. Shout out, shout out to uh, Queen Cam. She made this shirt. You know, she made the shirt. Shout out to Queen Cam. She made the shirt, and you know, uh, she's awesome. And and shout out to uh, Tony Hawkins. Uh, who else? If I start naming other folk, I'll get in trouble. But, you know, the family of New York, Brazil, um, California, uh, Texas. Uh, shout out to all the fam in the diaspora. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your time with each other and your family. And I will talk to you later.